Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to create a Spring Boot project and we will try to create some simple REST APIs. So very first, we will create a REST API for the Hello World and uh, after that, we will uh, try to create some other REST APIs also like we will create the REST API to return an employee. After that, we will create the REST API to return an employee list and then we will see some uh, important annotations as well like at the rate path param, at the rate request param and uh, how we can use them in our project. Okay, so let's start with the video. Very first we are going to create the project in STS. Uh, we are using here a Spring Tool Suite. Okay, so in Spring Tool Suite how we can create the project? Just here we have to click on this create new spring starter project okay then you will uh, see this screen new spring starter project and this project is coming from start.spring.io website okay so here we have to give the name to our project so spring boot first project we can keep and then we will write rest api okay then uh, we will keep this as a maven project packaging will be jar then group uh, com.hj programming and here we have the package com.hj programming dot spring rest api okay then we have to click click on the next so here we can uh, select uh, dependencies with, uh, whichever we are required for our project okay so we are going to create rest api so we will select spring web dependency in other videos we will explore on some other dependencies as well so for now it will be spring web and now we have to click on the finish then it will import the project from the spring io initializer website okay here we can see the status now the project is created successfully if we expand the project we can see this is our project structure okay so very very first we have this src main java then src main resources and then test okay in the java uh, folder in the source main java we have one package which is by default created com.hj programming dot spring rest api and inside that we have one class okay this class contain a main method and this class is annotated with the spring boot application inside this main method they are calling this run method okay the application will start from here and in the uh, src main resource folder we have application dot properties file so here if we want to uh, do any configuration that we can do inside this uh, application dot properties file okay in Spring Boot application, we don't have the XML configuration. So if we want to do any configuration, that we can do inside this application.properties file. Okay. Now, we are going to create our very first REST API. So here, I will uh, create one class, new class. And we will uh, give name to the class as a hello controller okay yeah so very first thing we have to annotate this class with rest controller annotation rest controller annotation okay so that it will considered as a controller now we will write a method which will be returning some string and we will uh, write the api for that one okay so here the method will be public this is returning a string so return type will be string and uh, here we will write a method name hello world okay then uh, to make this as a api we will annotate this with get mapping annotation okay and here we will give the url as slash hello okay so what will happen here if we are writing localhost then the by default 
as we have created this project spring boot project so it is using a embedded tomcat server and by default port for that will be 8080 okay so our application will run on 8080 port so here localhost colon 8080 and then if we are writing hello then we we should able to see the string which this method is returning okay so here we will write return welcome to spring boot rest api okay so now we are done with our first rest api creation i am saving this and now let's execute this program and see if we are able to get this welcome to spring boot rest api or not okay so just we have to right click here and run this project as a spring application okay spring boot app now the project is running yeah so see here our project is running and it is successfully executed now to test this we have to use the postman or even we can test in our browser also so i have the postman so here we we have selected this get method and the url is http localhost 8080 hello okay now just click on this send and here you can see welcome to spring boot rest api okay now if we change this string to hello world then now our output should be hello world okay now i am restarting the application so let it restart yes it is restarted successfully now let's test if we are getting hello world for this rest api or not okay see here we are getting the output as a hello world okay so i hope this is clear to everyone now so what we did here we just created a spring boot starter project selected a spring web dependency and after that we have created one controller and annotated that controller with at the rate rest controller inside this controller we have written a method hello world which is returning some string and that method we have annotated with at the rate get mapping annotation and here we have provided the url as a hello okay and when we are checking this in postman we are getting the expected result okay so this is the way we can create the rest api and check in postman